Hey, yeah, what is going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. Your boy, the boy, is here back with a vid. What's going on, guys? It's boy, it's boy, it's boy, it's boy, it's boy, King Mark. It's AK Mark. Showtime to the back with the video. What is up, my peoples, man? Um, hey, you know how we rocking. You already know how we rocking. Got the bangers here. Got the videos here. We're trying to get back on a consistent schedule. We're trying to get these videos on and popping. You feel me? You hurt me. You heard me? We here. I feel pretty good right now. You know? We're about to get this joint in, though, man. We're about to see what's going on with this Jukaisen video. Uh, my man's Gojo. So this is a 12-hour freaking Gojo video freaking explain. We're about to see what we're about to get into right now, cuz... I'm trying to see what, what this is all about. What my man's Gojo got. Like, what is this? Like, what is going on? I've been hearing about this stuff all over the place. Now, I'm trying to see what the heck we're about to get ourselves into, man. Jeez, so let's see what we got going on, man. Let's get it. Oh, and it is 12 uh, hours cool. long. So let me give you the brief recap right, of what happened on, and my interpretation of what it means. But if you're not caught up on the manga, we'll see you in the next one. So when the video finally premiered, we were met with Baby Gojo and some chill lo-fi-esque music started to play. And people quickly realized that this is what the video was going to be. And again, it was 12 hours long. So as it progressed every 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, the image would change. And either the image itself would shift a little bit or it would completely change into a new image. And one thing of note here is there was a lot of eye imagery. So we had Baby Gojo, like I just showed you, that was sleeping. And then Baby Gojo's eye opens and he wakes up yeah. so from there again there are literally 12 hours worth of images to go That's through insane. here so i'm hey, only going to show you like, a few what? but we get it's images weird. of gojo's life you know back in the hidden inventory arc and post hidden inventory and what this actually is as we come to find out toward the end of the video this is gojo in the prison realm like sinking to the bottom of the sea the bottom of that trench where kenjaku placed him so for my money this is gojo kind of thinking back on his life you could even think of the hidden inventory portion being the memories that were flooding through Gojo's mind as Kenjaku first trapped him and then the post hidden inventory images as just Gojo again reflecting on his life stuck in the prison realm with nothing else to do and here's one of the post hidden inventory images just for example now, the reason I have that interpretation is twofold. One, because toward the end of the video, we just see the prison realm sinking for a very long time. Mm, okay. But also in the description of this video, it's called underwater. So the prison realm being in the water, to me, this is what Gojo is thinking about during this time. Now, what's really cool so is the prison like, realm like, ultimately like, sinks like, to the ocean floor and comes to know, rest, but then it starts to light down. up, which is representative of Angel's Jacob's Ladder on the back of the prison realm freeing Gojo. We then once again get Gojo's eye imagery as if he is waking up from this time in the prison realm. And then it cuts to this iconic image of Gojo where he has just teleported straight to Kenjaku after getting out of the prison realm. And from there we jump immediately to an image of all of Gojo's students. And then that's where the video ends. Again, it's promoting the release of Volume 26, but it doesn't even touch on the Gojo Sukuna fight, which that's is kind crazy. of interesting. However, this actually isn't where it ends because there's a post credit scene of sorts. We then switch to the terminal, a.k.a. the airport from Chapter 236, and you can hear planes moving by outside. And again, interestingly, we have skipped entirely over the Gojo Sukuna fight itself. We then pan around three different shots on the inside of the airport, and they're all empty. And finally, the music video actually comes to a close with this shot of the airplane, the same one we saw in Chapter 236. So that's what happened. Now, what does it mean? Well, the best I can offer you is my interpretation, and I'm going to boil that down to three distinct things. We've got the choice, the theme, and the why. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about them. And the first right. is the choice. The choice from the airport. North versus south. And the fact that this airport is now empty, in my opinion, means that choice has been made. We just don't know which one it is yet. For anyone that needs the refresher on what I'm talking about, in Chapter 236, Nanami presents Gojo with this dichotomy. Right. If you'd like to become somebody new, go north. If you'd like to return to who you once were, go south. Mm. And in the context of this life and death situation, that's, that's, that's the choice is too. go that's, south that's if deep. you're like happy with who you are and you're ready that's, to pass yeah, on. Because this is crazy. exactly what Nanami did. He went south and he clearly passed away, right? So to go north would be to be unhappy with where you are. You need to return to living so that you 
you can become someone new. And this has been the crux of Gojo's entire character arc, right? I've got longer videos on this, so I'm not going to wax poetic on it here. But basically, Gojo his whole life has never known if he's the strongest because he's Gojo Satoru, or is he Gojo because he's the strongest, right? Mm. And he's always viewed himself yeah. as the strongest, but that has now That's been... Different destroyed right because he lost to Sukuna so if he comes back he has to just be Gojo now for the first time that would mean going north so this is the decision he's in the airport is he going to leave and go south or is he going to leave and go north the airport is empty because that decision has been made but again we don't know what the choice was yet Next, I want to talk about the theme. Why would they choose the lotus flower as the thumbnail for this image and that's, the backdrop on, for come the on, final man. promotional that's, image? Yo, we don't fire, even touch bro. on that in the that's actual dope, video. On, now, again, bro. this that's... background here, this lotus flower, is taken from this panel here from Chapter 236 where, you know, Gojo is being compared to a flower and the flower chosen is the lotus, of which there are seven. I've talked about this numerous times, but you can read about the symbolism here. It's about Buddha and rebirth. So it's just interesting. Interesting that they would choose this, you know, so prominently in the release of this stuff without even ever touching on it. It's a subtle clue, right? And continuing on theme, there is the one of Gojo's eyes. Now down here, the first one is when Gojo was a baby and he opens his eye. And it's tattered around the edges here because this is when Gojo was thinking about his life, the past, while he was in the prison realm. This one up here doesn't have the tattered edges because it's like in real time, in the present. This is when Gojo opens his eye and is escaping the prison realm. So there is this recurring theme of Gojo's eyes and waking up. Now, keeping that theme in mind, again, take a look at the first page of Volume 26, this sketch of Gojo with his eye shooting open. And there is no context for this sketch at all, but it certainly looks like Gojo after getting cut by Sukuna. A lot of people thought that when the volume extras fully came out, there would be some sort of context for this, either as an extra sketch or something from Chapter 236, mm -hmm. but there were no extras about Chapter 236. So this has been intentionally left ambiguous, and, you know, draw your own conclusions. Now, lastly, yeah, see, I want to talk see, about the is. why. And I'm talking on a very meta level here. Why do any of this? Why contribute to the ambiguity around Gojo's death if he simply is just gone? For those of you that think Gojo's gone, you don't think there's any doubt, right? He got cut in half. Why would you think there was any chance of him coming back? Yeah, honestly. I know there's some copers that just want him to come back that don't, you know, do any type of analysis at all. That's not me. I'm digging into the things like, like that Gege has put in there everything, and wondering, bro, the why would this man. be here unless I was supposed to ask this question? Why would they put this post credit scene with an empty airport if we're not supposed to ask, what's the question here? And you could be say, well, the airport's empty because he fully traveled to the afterlife. But why would they draw that out and just do this now instead of making that abundantly clear in Chapter 236 or in Chapter 237 or in any of the chapters leading up to where we are right now? Mm -hmm why the ambiguity, right? Mm -hmm. And it's because we're supposed to be asking these questions. And again, I've already talked about this at length, so I'm not going to go over all of the details that point to this question of why, but you can check out my other videos if you're interested. But I'll do a couple. Why even pose the dichotomy of go north versus go south if that's not an actual question that you want the reader to explore? Why then, months later, have a post credit scene of an empty airport that begs that question? Was it north or was it south? Why have the lotus flower, which symbolizes rebirth, be the thumbnail for this entire event? Why, why, why? If Gojo was just dead, it would just be the end of it. There would be no need for these types of cryptic clues. So I just encourage you guys to ask yourselves that, that think I'm crazy for even looking into this. And the final hey, thing hey, I'll hey, say hey, is that it's very you, interesting that this plane is still hey, here. Yeah, Why I show that, you. right? Because in Chapter 236, when the implication is that Gojo is in the airport, could he be gone, go south, which is the title of the chapter, and this is the plane that it ends on. So... Not a crazy jump to conclusion to think that this could be the plane that's going south, that's representative of that. But here, when the airport's empty, that plane is still here. Yo, I, yeah, it's, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth, man. I'm with it. I, I, it makes sense to me. Uh, he's break, He broke it down perfectly, you know, gave a great explanation on everything like that. It's just how it is, man. It's the truth, bro. Gojo, dude's different. Dude's different. That's all I got to say about that. Dude's different.
Let, let, let me comment below. Comment below what you guys think about that, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Got another video coming out really soon, so keep a look out for that. Bye, Z. Well, let me close out. Ain't let me close out. Holy crap. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys.